We're going to look at masking images in XD. Uh, navigate to this sort of masking section in the start file and we'll, uh, we'll get started. Um, we're using our trekking app again and I've mocked up a, a kind of a team page here and I want to mask a, uh, an image of a staff member inside this circle. Um, obviously I can select an element and I can drag an image into um, that box or object and it will mask it. Um, we can also mask images that we already have on the page like this picture here. Um, I am going to just move the, uh, that picture into position I suppose and I'm going to copy it into this group here and paste it inside there so that I can select the object that I want to mask and also the image itself. And I'll select both of those two things inside this group. I'll go up to object and I'll go mask with shape. And you can see now that our image has been masked inside there. So once it's masked, we can go into the object and select the image and move the image around like so. And resize it if we need. Or we could go in and select the actual object and change the size of the object if we wanted to adjust the object like so. Um, and that uh, process of adjusting the mask um, works for images that you've kind of dragged into a picture box as well. Um, we can also use sort of more complicated shapes as masks. Here's uh, some shapes that I've brought in from um, Illustrator. And I've got another image here. And if I select the Illustrator shapes and my image and mask with shape, I can. Yeah, mask a more complicated um, or create a more complicated shape to mask with. And then manipulating the combination of the um, mask and image by double clicking and then getting access to either the image or the mask and making adjustments to both.